I'm doing good, thanks. The sunshine certainly helping us out. Yeah, you got to bring some recruits in on days like this and tell them it's like this year round. You know, you go down to Florida, whatever. We got days like this all all winter long. Yeah, it's beautiful, and it's going to give us an opportunity to get out on the field today and, and practice, which uh, puts us way ahead of schedule right now at this time of year. How have uh, off season workouts conditioning? You know, because although you don't have actual practice, uh, you know, after the season ends, you guys are still working out and doing conditioning and drills. How's everything been going? Everything's been going great, and we've got a great group of young men. And being in the second year of the program now, they uh, they have a better understanding of the expectations and, and what we're trying to achieve as a group. So uh, it's been fun to watch these guys move together as a team. Bringing back 15 ladder winners off a team last year that finished 13-11 and 11 in Big Ten play in advance to the conference tournament that we had here in Huntington Park. Let's quickly go back to last year. Talk about that team and what you learned uh, in your first year as coach of the Buckeyes. Well, the one thing that I learned is I learned uh, really how special it is to, to represent Ohio State University. And, you know, you, you feel like you have an understanding of that being from Ohio, from Springfield, Ohio, just, uh, you know, an hour away from here. But you really don't until, you, until you've been on the field and, and wearing that uniform and, and you get that sense of, of pride representing the university. It's got to be neat working in that athletic department. If you Explain what it's like showing up to work every day. Well, I tell you, there's a part of you that pinches yourself, but then there's that reality that Buckeye Nation has very high expectations. So uh, we have a great situation in our athletic department. Our facilities uh, are outstanding. Uh, our administration has been strong. Uh, so, so we have all the things that we need uh, for our student athletes to be successful. And uh, the flip side of that is now that it's all here for us, we've got to get it done. Buckeye baseball coach Greg Beals, our guest via the Subway Fresh Take Hotline here on 97.1 The Fan. And as we look ahead to this year's team, let's start with sophomore, our first baseman and righty, Josh Desi, named a 13 preseason All-American by CollegeSportsMadness.com. What's he done this offseason, and what's he looking like headed into this uh, coming year? Well, I tell you, Josh was a freshman All-American last year. Uh, and the, the biggest thing at this point is he's not a freshman anymore. He's grown up a little bit. He's a lot more physically mature. Uh, he has a better understanding of what his role is and what he needs to do to be prepared for his role. Life, that's a challenge. You know, the young man was hitting fourth in our lineup, playing first base, and also closing for us. And as a freshman, uh, to, to be man in those type of roles is not easy. Uh, he's learned that, uh, and uh, he's going to embrace that a little bit more this year. And just going to be a more seasoned. What are what are the plans for him? Do you plan on sticking him in the same roles or different roles, or, or what's going on with him? Yeah, we're going to keep him in that same role, and I just think with uh, with his fastball and uh, and slider two pitch combo and that closer role, uh, he can be devastating to an opponent. It also is better suited for his role as uh, you know as our first baseman. Um, it, it'd be much more difficult for him to go out to first base after being a starting pitcher throwing 100 pitches. You know that'll that'll wear you down and keep you on the sidelines for a day or two so this as our closer he's able to uh to fulfill both roles a little bit more efficiently it's an interesting dynamic too as he plays the field and then moves to that closer role in some games where he kind of sees hitters tendencies from a different vantage point well i do think i do think it puts him in, a, in somewhat of an advantage compared to other closers because he's just got a little better a little better sense and and, and rhythm with the game because he's been in the game the whole time what about Ryan Seipert? He's a guy as well who had a pretty good year last year coming uh, back this year, now as a junior, a middle infielder. Well, you know, Ryan uh, is kind of the heart and soul of our team. He's got great character, and uh, he's been voted by his, uh, his uh, teammates as captain for our team this year, has really done a great job in the leadership role and making sure that our guys are moving together as one. Uh, just, a, just a great young man, really maximizes his his potential as a student athlete which is fun to coach a kid like that buckeye baseball coach greg beals our guest here on 97 won the fin who else as far as fielders we'll get to the pitchers in a second but who else as far as hitters and hitters and fielders are, are you looking at this season as we are a couple weeks away from the season starting well i'm awfully excited about our shortstop uh, kirby talent kirby's a, a junior college transfer comes from chandler gilbert uh, Arizona. Uh, Kirby is a left-handed hitter. It's going to hit the top of our lineup. And, uh, you know, we, we lost Tyler Engel, who was a senior last year. We felt like we needed to bring some experience uh, to our team. That's why we went with the junior college route. But I think Kirby's going to going to have a great season for us. And we got sophomore Tim Wetzel, who's returning for his uh, second year as our starting center fielder. 
again, another young man that's not going to be a freshman anymore. He's got a year under his belt and really looking for him to have a great season. Some pretty good arms as well, both guys coming back. And then I, I don't follow baseball recruiting that closely, but I saw you brought in some nice players as well. So what kind of arms are we looking at this year? Well, you know, we're going to have Brett McKinney and uh, and Greg Grieve. Those two young men pitched on Saturday and Sunday were our number two and three guys in our rotation. Uh, so they'll stay in our rotation and pitch on the weekends. We have Brian King, another junior college transfer from uh, Paradise Valley out in Arizona. We'll, we'll be in our rotation also. So we got uh, those three guys as we start the season. But we've also got some depth that, uh, that I'm excited to, to have, which can take some pressure off of that pitching staff. Get guys like John Kushno uh, and Jaron Long to, to be in our uh, also support and starting roles potentially. Then you have uh, David Fafalakani and uh, Andrew Armstrong, two uh, upperclassmen with experience. To, to be short situational guys in our bullpen, and then you got the big fellow Desay closing. When you look at your team right now, a couple weeks before the season beginning, what do you think the strengths of this year's club are going to be? Well, I think the strength of our of our club is going to be uh, our pitching staff and their ability to man different roles and feed off of each other. Uh, I think that'll be fun to watch those guys, uh, especially that bullpen kind of tag team situations in the bullpen. And then the other thing, I really like our lineup, just top to bottom offensively. I like the quality of that bat that our guys are given. Uh, we got what I like to say is we got some dynamics in our lineup where we got some speed guys, we got some power guys. We're gonna be able to mix and match those guys to put some uh, to, to put some pressure on the opposing defense. Headed down to Florida, February sixteenth. Going to take on South Florida Seton Hall, UConn, first weekend of the season. Between now and then, what would you like to see the team get better at doing? Well, I want to see the team get out, get out on this new field as much as possible. And mm-hmm. yeah, we've been very fortunate with. Uh, being able to upgrade the, the playing service. We're playing on a synthetic field now, Nick Swisher Field. So uh, the field is ready to go. We get nice days like today. We're going to be able to get outside, and that's what we need to do to be ready for playing time is be able to get as many reps outside on our field uh, as possible. So we got a five-inning scrimmage game scheduled for today, and that gets us way ahead of schedule. That's going to be fun. All right, let's mention as well, this Saturday the Diamond Club is going to have the annual Meet the Team Dinner at the University Plaza Hotel, a social hour 5.30, dinner at 6.30, and a program at 7.15 with you, and, and all the team will be out there. A lot of great guys. You have a lot of great assistant coaches. Tell me about this event Saturday. Well, we're real excited about the event. It really it, it acts as kind of like a preseason pep rally for uh, – for our fans and our and our team and our parents, uh, it's it's really a neat night. We get together where, where there's not a game, there's no baseball that night. It's just uh, it's just us, kind of our extended family here in the, in Ohio State baseball. We've got a guest speaker this year, Steve Swisher, who is Nick's dad. But uh, um, special thing about that is Steve was also coached me in pro ball, and I know the I know the impact he made. Uh, the charge that he gave me, a great motivational type guy. So he's going to speak to the crowd that night also. And just kind of a, a one last hurrah, a rally and cry before the season gets going. And Steve was a first-round draft pick of the White Sox in 1973. I'm sure you're the same. I love hearing from baseball guys from that era. It was such a great era for the sport. Well, you, you know, and they, they bring a, a true grit, a competitive grit to uh, – to to the conversation and it's kind of that old school mentality and I want you know I'm really looking forward to hearing him speak and, and I'm excited for our guys to get the message that I know he'll bring. I wanted to mention as well and I'm sure you could echo this sentiment having been around the team a little bit uh, all the baseball players they're very approachable they're great guys they're great student athletes so for people going to the dinner all the guys are approachable they love the game they love the Buckeyes it'll be a fun event. No doubt about it and that's one thing you hit the nail on the head there we got great student athletes and this team uh has a great team grade point average over 3.0, and uh, these, these kids uh, really exemplify student athletes. All right, 292-1075 for information. Tickets are 25 bucks uh, by calling the Ohio State Baseball Office, 292-1075 information at ohiostatebuckeyes.com as well. The head coach of the Buckeyes is Greg Beals. Coach, uh, best of luck in your uh, scrimmage today. Uh, have fun at the dinner Saturday, and we'll be catching up with you again soon. Thanks so much. All right, thank you.